Where am I? And so it begins. In the end, we all burn for our sins. Is this a dream? In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. The one who will lead us to paradise with blood-stained hands. Okay, what's up everybody? This is the game. <laughs> Virus, also known as the G-G-G-G-G-G virus, and we are back at it again with more Let's Play Silent Hill 3 Blind, never played before in my natural born life. And on the last episode, we got back into the swing of things in Silent Hill 3. We made, literally, we didn't make much progress to be honest with you. We uh, got that machine working so it could drain the ladder area that had water. It was like a ladder leading down, but it was filled with water. I guess this whole area was filled with water, or parts of it. Or the area I just came from, it was like a sewer type of area. It was flooded, and we couldn't go down because we needed to drain the water, but we needed oil to make the machine work, and we had to fill the wine bottle with oil. Then we brought the wine bottle to the machine and filled it up and got it working and went down. We saw some creepy stuff along the way. We went through a sewer area, uh, and when we came upon this place right here, we came across an eerie message telling us that there's a creature here that killed a bunch of his buddies. I think it was a sewer worker. There was a creature down there that killed a bunch of his buddies, and no one wants to believe him, and he wants to get revenge for his buddies, and he went down there to go fight it, but, you know, danger keep out, as you can see right there on the ground. Fuck. That's basically what's going on, and uh, we went through this door right here, and we saw a whole bunch of blood on the floor. So that's what I said, you know what, F this, we'll leave this to another video, let me go and save. And now here we are. Because they want me to cross this thing right, huh? And you already know something's gonna try to fucking jump out and fucking take, take, take me out. So let me be, <laughs> so let me be at the ready. Because you already know some bullshit's gonna happen. What did I say? Oh my god. Goodbye, Heather. What the hell? Heather's dead. Oh my god. What? Blood? Is it game over? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay. Okay. Huh. That's odd. Damn, instant death? You guys just... What the fuck? What? Huh. Instant death. There's something I'm missing. I do have a blow dryer on me for some strange reason. But what for? Oh. There's an outlet here. Oh. There's an outlet here? So I could plug up the blow dryer, throw it into the water, and electrify the water. <laughs> or else it's instant death. I gotcha. I, I see, Silent Hill. I see. It's my own fault. It's my own fault for going in there like that. You should have expected some bullshit. You know, the fucking file told you, basically. You should have expected that there's going to be some fuckery going on right in here. But I figured it would just be a boss fight that I'd have to fight. That's <laughs> funny. At least I figured it out right away. I honestly had no clue what the fuck to do. Can I hop in there? Oh, oh. What happens if I hop in there? <laughs> uh, all right. Anyways, <clears throat> as we were a second ago, before we were rudely interrupted by hentai tentacles. By hentai tentacle monsters. Damn, that was just a long ass death scene. Pretty much. That's like some trial and error shit. I pretty much, I'm pretty sure everybody died there. Nobody was savvy enough to guess that you needed to do that right out the gate. There's some complicated machine here. It's not on or anything. I'll just leave it alone. 
What kind of valve could this be? I doubt it's anything important. I'll just leave it alone for now. Hmm. Well, there it is. Let's see if we can get a good look. Is this just a single tentacle? I wonder what it's attached to. You know what's attached to something much bigger and much deadlier, and it's very pissed now that I did that to it. That I freaking handicapped it, so to speak. Uh, there's nothing like blind playthroughs. Nothing like them. They're the best, best kind of playthrough. Huh? It's a blind one. The drum is in the way. There's something inside. I doubt I can move it. Yeah. The drum is in the way. The drum is in the way. Okay. It's very quiet. I haven't had to do much much fighting. I've just been avoiding. Which is probably... Ugh, probably the... There we go with the fucking noises again. It's probably that tentacle creature again. I don't know. As a rule of thumb, the lock is broken. I can't open it. I'm staying away from the water. That sounds pretty horrible. Matter of fact, it sounds horrible enough for me to want to go ahead and pull out my, lo my lovely boomstick. How about that? The boomstick doesn't care what you sound like. It'll take you the fuck out. You know? Oh shit. Fuck you. Just punched me in the chin. Straight up punched me in the chin. That was kind of a weak attack, man. The way that thing's spinning around, the way it looks, I was expecting that shit to like chop me up into pieces upon touching it. It just gave me a little jab. Shit, it's like getting hit by your mother, you know? It's like when you're a grown man and your mother hits you for the first time and it's like not a big deal. That's what that was like. Oh shit. What's that for? What's that for, huh? If you guys have a problem with me, you can take it up with the trusty boomstick right here. He ha he answers all my issues and takes care of all my problems. You guys see him firsthand, and he'll take care of you. He'll set you straight. He'll set you straight. Uh, corridor after corridor, huh? Wonderful. Bunch of junk, random music stings. I can't get in. There's an iron grate blocking the way. Well, I guess I should see what she says about all this stuff. There's nothing in the drum can. Well, forget about that. Well, what were you thinking? There's stuff all over, but definitely nothing worth bringing along. Hmm, a ladder. Hmm? Nothing to be said about that. Nothing to be said about the barrels. Oh, the cardboard box doesn't have anything useful in it. <laughs> She's climbing that thing so uncoordinated like. Are we finally out of the sewers? Thank God. I'd love to get out of here. Every game has to have a sewer segment. Won't let me manipulate the camera. What is this a uh, construction site? The wooden crate is shut pretty tight. I don't think I can get it open. Well, this is the last place a dainty little little girl like you should be, Heather. Now, isn't it? Nothing good's gonna ever come from here.
I keep forgetting there's a strafe button. Uh, that would be useful if I could fucking have the camera <laughs> behind her, but I can't unless I hold it, and then it's hard to hold the strafe button. Jeez. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> okay. Fucking game. Oh, it's a save point. And darkness, and I don't have complete control over the camera. I don't like it. Oh, it's doors right there. That's why it's so dark. What the fuck is that? Save point and more darkness. Oh, that rubble. I could see something there, but it's just rubble. It's a random save point. I like the save points in this game. Look, they look cool. Instead of just a red square like in Silent Hill 2. And what was it in Silent Hill 1? What, was it? what were the save points in that? Are they like triangles or something? It's actually a nice little design or something. Oh man, what do we? What, what do they want us to go inside of? Come on, man! Look at this place. This is all bad. We don't need to go in here. Ugh. Ugh. F this. I'm gonna have to shoot somebody with my shotgun. I'm gonna have to blast somebody. Let me get the fucking map. Is there a map anywhere? I keep not getting a map. I never have a map for anywhere anymore. We gotta give out maps. I'm just missing them. Ah, health. I humbly accept. I humbly accept health. Whenever, wherever, however. I'll take it. There's the bathrooms right there. Alright, well let's check out the first door we came across. I don't even know what this place is. Oh, the lock is broken. Check out the bathroom. Bathrooms are never good. I can't get in there. What is... Okay, I was about to say, what is blocking me? I will blow your face off. Whatever is in here trying to fuck with me, I will blow your fucking face off. What? What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a wheelbarrow. There are bags of cement or, of some, or something piled up under the stairs. Ah, uh, what was that? I don't particularly feel like lugging these heavy things around. I doubt I could use them anyway. Well, this is taking me upstairs, which means that the elevator is probably not working. I didn't check it, but of course not. The electricity is off. The elevator won't work. Elevators never work in Silent Hill. On, on, well, you gotta get them working. Even, fuck you. Go fuck yourself. Damn camera. I wanna look up so bad, but I can't. Second floor. Terrible, terrible camera work. I mean, it's probably done on purpose for suspense purposes, but for what the way out, the way I'm trying to play it. I'm trying to look around. The game just doesn't want me to play it like that. It's just like uh, a contemporary way of playing. I keep on trying to manipulate the camera with the right stick. And I can't really... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can manipulate her head. But I can't manipulate the camera because I guess... We're in tight quarters. The third level ceiling has crumbled. For safety's sake, entry is forbidden. The door shuts, the door shut tight. I, it won't open at all. Hmm? A toolbox, but there's nothing useful inside at all. I swear I've had dreams like this, where I'm like at my old elementary school or something, and I'm young, and I like find a secret floor or an abandoned floor in the school and shit, like a fifth floor that's, that no one ever knew about and I find that shit, or the elevator, I accidentally go to the fifth floor when I'm not supposed to and it's all fucking crazy like this. I've had this dream several times. It's always my elementary school. The fourth level floor has crumbled. For safety's sake, entry is forbidden. Oh man. Everything's crumbling. Crumble, crumble, crumble. I'm getting far away from that save point and I'm running out of time. 
I really have no use for a fire extinguisher. This is the final floor. Music stops, shotgun's out. That's how this thing works. You want to stop the music? I start the shotgun. Stop the music, start the shotgun. It's a toilet! I thought this building was still under construction, but it looks like this has been used. What are there pee stains all over it? It's a plain old wash basin. Nothing special about it. Locked like a motherfucker. <sighs> yeah, this this camera just says F you no matter what. <laughs> There's something in there. Yeah, I, I just gotta get away from the wall more. Doesn't look like there's anything in here at the moment. Looks like there's tons of ammunition or some type of items. It's very dark. I'm ready to shoot. I'm not worried. I got a shotgun on me. And I just picked up some handgun bullets. Lots of empty bottles and cans. It looks like somebody was living here. Oh, God. What is she looking at? Mattress? Looking at the mattress? Ugh. A filthy mattress. Will you drop it into the hole? No, not yet. Well, no, fuck it. Just do it now, because the way Silent Hill's been working, unless you do something ahead of time, you're going to die. It's better to err on the cautious side. Sleep tight! Thought I'd, you know, give you something to sleep on. What the fuck does she see down there? I guess that's it. Just dump that down there. I guess something's gonna... Oh, shit. There's a little home made up of cardboard boxes and old blankets. I guess a squatter was living here. <sighs> She's gonna fall off that shit. Alright, well. I guess that's that. Where to now? Go back down? Well, I'm definitely gonna go back down to save. I'm ready to shoot something if it dares to pop up. Oh, shit. Just totally blow it away. And then laugh while I do it. Like you should have known better, fucker. Crumble, can't get through. Same old, same old. Uh, a stepladder is too big and bulky to take with me. Keeping that L2 held down so that camera stays directly behind her. No surprises. Like, see? Look, I can't fucking manipulate it now, though. The wall's blocking me. That shit, I just can't get in there. It's not because the floor is crumbled. It's just locked. Not in that, and it's not having it. I don't know what the fuck the purpose of kicking that mattress down was, but let's go ahead and check out this room again. No, that shit was locked. I have no idea what I just did. Oh, I know. I can jump down that shit now because I pushed the mattress there. Well, let me go ahead and save. This video's 
shit, I wasn't gonna jump down. Even if I had realized that at the, at, at the start, I wouldn't have done it. This video is done. <sighs> All right, guys. Uh, damn. Um, we're, we're moving along, man. Thank God I haven't been stopped by a riddle yet. Feels like that should have been happened, but it hasn't. I haven't had really any real major puzzles to deal with yet, and don't worry, they're coming, and I'm gonna be stumped and get ready to have some fun with that. But, you know, we, we, we were in a new area. We're out of the lower catacombs, boiler room type of underground area, sewer parts. Every game has to have a sewer level. And we made it out of there, and now we're in the construction site. In the next video, we're gonna jump down that hole and hopefully, hopefully not miss the mattress. But uh, if you liked the video, feel free to like it. Uh, if, you, if you made it this far all the way to the end, that means I held your attention, I entertained you, I put on a performance for you, and you stuck around for it. You should definitely give me a like. And if you want more, you should go ahead and subscribe, and you will be notified as soon as more content such as this and even better is uploaded. This is the game virus, and I thank you for watching, and I gracefully bow out. See you guys next time. Later.